Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be working with radical expressions. We have x minus 5 over square root of x equals 6 and we're going to evaluate x minus the square root of x. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So we're given an equation and obviously we can go ahead and solve it, right? x minus 5 over square root of x equals 6. This is a radical equation but if you try to isolate the radical like you know put the 5 over square root of x on the right hand side and bring the 6 over and square both sides you're going to end up with something like this you're going to have a 25 over x here on the left and on the right hand side you're going to have an x squared so when you do the cross multiplication this should give you a cubic equation right so we expect to get three solutions well let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of these two functions one of them is a radical the other one is a constant function, which is a horizontal line, and they seem to intersect at a single point, which is a little before 8. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and solve this problem and see what the solutions are, and then at the end, we're going to be looking at something else. So, to be able to solve this problem, like I said earlier, we're going to go ahead and isolate the radical. One more time, let's do it. So, we're going to add 5 over root x and then subtract 6 and then now square both sides if you square this you're going to get 25 over x and on the right hand side you're getting x squared minus 12 x plus 36 and then if you cross multiply or multiply both sides by x you get 25 equals x cubed minus 12 x squared plus 36 x and then from here you'll get a cubic equation x cubed minus 12 x squared plus 36 x minus 25 equals 0 obviously solving this cubic is not very easy unless you have some formula and there's something called a cubic formula we can actually go ahead and do this uh, replace x with y plus 4 by the way i get the 4 by dividing this number by 3 which is the highest power and then I just kind of transform this equation so that I can get rid of the quadratic term. And then I have something like a y cubed and a plus some x plus a constant. And then we can solve this using the cubic formula, right? And it should give us some solutions. But you can also approach it a little differently. You can go ahead and kind of write this as, well, what happens if square root of x is t? Then x becomes t squared, right? And then this becomes t squared minus 5 over t equals 6. So this kind of becomes an easier problem to deal with. Because if you multiply everything by t, you get t cubed minus 5 equals 60. Why did this equation become all of a sudden like easier? Because we did not, uh, you know, isolate the radical. Okay, that's the reason instead we used substitution, which is very powerful in most cases. And of course, in this case, you still have to find a t value that'll help you solve for this. But in this case, uh, I guess it wouldn't be too hard because I'm thinking about if I look at the coefficients, I'm probably seeing something like this. Let me check. 1 minus 6 minus 5 is not 0. How about negative 1? Negative 1 plus 6 minus 5 is 0. Yes, so great. So t equals negative 1 is a solution, which I can tell by looking at the coefficients, 1, negative 6, and negative 5. And from here, we basically get, uh, get to factor this. So I can write it as t cubed plus t squared, and then minus t squared minus t minus 5t minus 5. So I kind of broke it down to get factors of t plus 1 because factor theorem tells us hey if t equals negative 1 is a solution then t plus 1 must be a factor okay so knowing that uh, makes it easier to factor this and now we get t squared times t plus 1 or you could do polynomial division some people like that t plus 1 and negative 5 times t plus 1 again that verifies t plus 1 as a factor take out t plus 1 you get t squared minus t minus 5 equals 0. Now from here, we get t equals negative 1. We already knew that. But we kind of need to back substitute. Now remember, we're looking for real solutions. Did I say that? I guess I should have said that. x is real. So square root of x equals t 
square root of x equals t and that equals negative 1 is not going to give us any real solution. So we have to reject that. Let's take a look at this one. Square root of x equals t and t from here is going to be negative b which is 1 plus minus the square root of b squared which is 1 again plus 20 4 times 5 that's square root of 21 divided by 2. Good. Now we get two solutions. One of them is negative so we have to reject that as well because remember this is the square root of x and the square root of a real number cannot be negative right so we can only go with this awesome that is the square root of x which is 1 plus root 21 over 2 that's actually helpful even though we're going to find x from here we still need a square root of x in our expression right because remember we're supposed to evaluate x minus square root of x but how do you find x from here you can go ahead and square both sides and don't forget the square root of x square root of x let me copy that around down here so it's, that's what it is. Now when you square both sides, you're going to get x equals. Numerator is going to give me 1 plus 21 plus 2 root 21 over 4. That's 22 plus 2 root 21 over 4. And that is actually 11 plus root 21 over 2. Awesome. That will be x. Great. So now I got x and square root of x. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to evaluate x minus square root of x. Yes, that's what I need. So let's go ahead and evaluate it. In other words, plug everything in. What is x? 11 plus square root of 21 over 2. And square root of x is 1 plus square root of 21 over 2. Square root of 21 cancels out. 11 minus 1 is 10. 10 over 2 is 5. So the answer is 5. Okay? So simple. Even though x is not that simple, we got a really nice value. Let's go ahead and check out the second method. The second method uses a very different idea, obviously. Let me show you. And it doesn't always work, but for competition level problems like these, you know, uh, there's always, almost always a trick that you can use. So here's how it goes. I noticed that the coefficients are one and kind of negative five on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna break down the five into five plus one, and then uh, put this on the right-hand side and bring the one over here. So kind of like this, uh, switch sides x minus 1 equals 5 over square root of x, or maybe I should write the 5 first. 5 plus 5 over square root of x. Make sense? All right, great. So we now have the following. First of all, let's make a common denominator to see better. And then I'm going to factor out a 5. And, uh oh, I realize square root of x plus 1 is a factor of x minus 1. How so? By difference of two squares. If you consider this to be square root of x squared minus 1 squared, it's factorable into square root of x plus 1 times square root of x minus 1. And then this is 5 times the square root of x plus 1 divided by x. Awesome. One thing to keep in mind, x is real, so square root of x is always greater than or equal to 0. So this is positive, this is positive, therefore it can go away. We can cancel out, it can't be 0. So now we get the following. Square root of x minus 1 equals 5 over x. And what am I supposed to do with this? Well, well, actually, I messed up here. It's supposed to be square root of x. Sorry about that. So I'm supposed to cross multiply, or at least I should because it makes sense. Square root of x times square root of x is x minus square root of x equals, bam, we get the answer right away, okay? So this way of manipulating the expression gives us the answer. By way of substitution, this is what Wolfram Alpha gave me, and I'm like, what? Are you serious? Well, obviously, it wasn't simplified. Because if you take the square root of this number, you'll get an answer. Real simple. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.